Skindernega is a uh, longtime Ethiopian journalist. He has been a thorn in the government side really for the past two decades. He was the publisher and editor, uh, along with his wife, of a number of newspapers. He's a very decent man, very humble. Uh, in a way, he is shy too, you know. He is also an extremely stubborn person, as you might imagine. Um, I think the word iconoclast doesn't quite do justice to someone like Iskinder because he and his family have sacrificed quite a lot for their principles in Ethiopia. He went back into the breach knowing full well what the risks were for doing so. He had a number of other options. He grew up in the DC area. He could have left the country, but he chose to stay. He'd been arrested six or seven times before. He's had newspapers closed down. He's really been hounded by the Ethiopian regime. In 1991, the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front wrested power from a brutal communist dictatorship. In the two decades since, with support from the U.S., Prime Minister Mele Zenawi has made gains against the region's recurring famines and aided efforts against al-Qaeda in the Horn of Africa. But American support has done little to foster democratic institutions. Well, I think you might say that the Meles regime has been there by electoral consensus and so far as in the 2010 elections, they won with 99.6% of the vote. So you draw your own conclusions. I think it was Stalin who said it's not who votes that counts, it's who counts the votes. In 2005, Meles promised elections that would prove that Ethiopia was making strides toward democracy. As Kinder and his wife, Sir Colum Fossil, would sacrifice their freedom to cover those elections. You know, for the first time, probably in, in our political history, people were convinced that they can, they can change their government through ballot box, you know. The opposition was more organized, and, uh, you know, the opposition had unprecedented ac access to media. Trailing in early returns, Meles declared a state of emergency. Security forces opened fire, killing scores of protesters. For reporting on the violence, Eskinder and Sirkalem were jailed alongside opposition leaders. The charge was treason. Sir Colum gave birth to the couple's son in prison. Released in 2007, but banned from writing for newspapers, Eskender went right back to work online. He was given a very strong message that if you continue to publish, if you continue to print criticism about um, torture in jails, about clamping down on the free press, about imprisoning opposition figures, about using terrorism as a weapon to prosecute uh, dissenting political voices, you yourself uh, will be back in jail or worse. Actually at some point they told him that, you know, they are tired of arresting him. And they said, this time around we are not going to arrest you, we are going to kill you, you better stop it. But he can't, you know, he can't stop, that's him. On September 14th, 2011, Eskinder Nega was arrested and charged under Ethiopia's sweeping anti-terror law. That law is increasingly being used to prosecute independent journalists. It may sound strange that um, terrorists have been taken to court, found guilty in a court of law, have been characterized as political prisoners by the United States, which was a country that introduced the world to the concept of uh, enemy combatants. At his trial, in support of the terrorism charges, prosecutors presented these videotapes of a town hall meeting where Iskinder talks about the possibility of a peaceful Arab Spring-like movement in Ethiopia. He is being held at Khalidi Prison. His trial is ongoing, and he could face the death penalty if convicted. In a sense, it was ever thus. Whenever you have enemies, um, it's, it's a useful way to just brand your critics as being among your enemies. Iskinder's prosecution uh, as a terrorist is very much a cautionary tale uh, about uh, the use and the spread of terrorism laws to prosecute journalists. I think his case really highlights the way that terrorism has come to be uh, used as a catch-all for a way to go after your political opponents or people who are critical of you. Iskinder, terrorist? No. 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 <laughs> For his exemplary courage and sacrifice in the service of press freedom and the freedom to write in Ethiopia, Penn American Center is proud to honor S. Kinder Nega with the 2012 Penn Barbara Goldsmith Freedom to Write Award. We will not desert you. We will never desert you. 
We won't desert you or any of your compatriots who are fighting for free expression.